You know, I'm not really a big fan of gaming chairs. I think they're completely worth, actually not completely worthless, but I'd say they're not really worth it for the money, usually, because they're really more about aesthetics, and people vote with their money, but I wanted to keep an open mind because DX Racer was nice enough to send this one out, which is the all-new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth gaming chair. Never have I, have I really gotten a dedicated licensed gaming chair like this. It has a pretty cool look. This is what the back looks like. Wait, before we go any further, let's take a look at setup and installation first. You're introduced with a huge instructions manual all the way back here. It's all visual, so hopefully it's helpful, and it should be relatively simple to set up. That's what DX Racer is probably known for. And then look at that, Final Fantasy with Cloud Sword back there. That's really sick. And by the way, the parts list is right up here, one of everything, so in case you're missing something, you can quickly contact them so you can get a replacement or get that missing piece. But it looks like everything should be in here. So I see two pillows here, one that says DX Racer. It's got a back strap to easily place this on the back, and then this bottom one for your back, it says Final Fantasy Rebirth on there. Now, I love and hate this because it's cool to have the Final Fantasy look, but I really hope this isn't what they consider lumber support. I'll take a look at it in just a moment and confirm. Before installation, really quickly, I wanted to go over their warranty, which is actually pretty good. They're, it's covered by a two-year warranty here that tells you what exactly is covered. Normally, I don't care about this stuff because the brands that I usually work with, they're kind of no-names or new ones that are not really too familiar. But this one is an exception because DX Racer has been around for a long time, and from what I've seen online, they're legitimate with their warranty and coverage. All right, so we're gonna see how long all this takes. Um, it feels like it shouldn't take too long because a lot of this is set up, including the seat like armrests, which is a good thing. The other good thing is that besides these armrests being installed, is that all these screws are in place. I mean, sometimes they are, other times they aren't, and that's noticeable when installing, because it this saves up a lot of time. That's all I'm gonna say, because sometimes they might not be available or you gotta figure out which one's which, and it can be a little frustrating. And not to worry, they do have this tool for the head, the flat head. Um, it usually comes with one or two. This one's just a, a bit nicer because it has that DX Racer logo, and it makes it easy to hold on to. I'm only like 10 minutes into this installation so far. I've already got the, the wheels in, and then the gas lift here and then as well as the cover. Finally place this top part in. Make sure the screws are tightened on both sides. And we should be good to go here. Yep, there we go. Here's another cool one. The final piece to cover this up is magnetic, so you don't have to worry about putting any other screws in. So probably about it took like maybe 30 to 40 minutes to install all this, so half the time it would normally take, and that's nice, and this is the final product. So it looks great, of course, <laughs> DX Racer, and again, that cloud sword right there, it's amazing, along with saying Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On the front, you've got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth stitched again, along with all these eight icons right here. It looks nice, and then finally, it says Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on here with another logo. I'm not really familiar with this one actually because I'm not a big Final Fantasy fan. But yeah, as for the chair itself, it seems like a pretty standard gaming chair. But what's really disappointing to me, and actually even a deal breaker, is the fact that this does not have a dedicated adjustable lumbar support. And this is a poor excuse for lumbar support, this pillow right here. Because I mean, I thought this would at least be magnetic so it can kind of stick up or somewhere, but no, it just comes back down. And so you gotta adjust it every time if you're gonna move around in your chair. And that's really awful. That's This is a poor excuse, honestly. I mean, for what you're paying for this, they should at least have some kind of lumbar support, like dedicated. If not that, then maybe make this magnetic and have something behind it to be able to move this around a little bit. But, I mean, not having one at all, it, it just looks worse. I mean, the quality does feel like it could have been better. I mean, in some areas, it did a good job, right, with with the whole design itself. This is, like, a really cool design. But, yeah, besides that, it's just, like, I don't know, man. I feel like they could have done more here, I mean, where it counts, mainly with that lumber support. And I know that's one thing 
and for some people it might not be a deal breaker because if you're not sitting for long periods or something like that then it's probably not going to matter too much but and if you're a big fan of final fantasy then yeah all the more reason to get this because this is actually licensed so yeah it looks great from the back and the front and i don't really know of any any other company that's licensing this legally i mean the other cool features are the armrests. This one can move back or forth and left and right a little bit, up and down by a few inches. I believe it's about three, so that's nice. It's uh, It has like a soft spot, but it's it's hard overall. It's not like hard plastic, which is um, a little hard to describe, but I hope that makes sense. It's just like it can be soft, but it's like a really hard cushion, best way to put it. One of the most important things is this. How comfortable is this? This uses cold cure foam. So from my understanding, cold cure foam does last a bit longer than just regular memory foam. It's basically memory foam with the harder bottom that should, again, make sure it, it lasts longer, it doesn't get compressed. I mean, time will only tell how that goes. But usually at this price point, that's what you can expect. And I'm glad that they have that on here at the very least. This also reclines back by about 135 degrees, nothing too crazy, and unfortunately there is no leg rest underneath the recliner, so that might be a, a bit a little unfortunate. And then looking at the top here, we got the pillow that can be removed, and one interesting feature is that this does have kind of like a little a stopper um, at three different levels almost, or technically two, in case you want it, if you want it a little higher or a little lower, just so it doesn't fall off, I guess. I mean, that's the best way I can think of it. But yeah, that's not bad to have. I've never really seen that before on here. So again, the little details I can really appreciate here. And the looks, again, aesthetic-wise, it's nice. Assuming cold cure foam lasts a while, this should be fine. But again, the only deal breaker is just the fact that this has no lumbar, like, dedicated lumbar support. So let me know what you guys think. Would you get this as a Final Fantasy fan, despite everything else? If you're not using it for long periods of time, then yeah, it seems like a good choice. I forgot to show on here that, you know, I'm kind of a big guy and I can sit here perfectly fine um, in terms of like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of fat, so I'm not having a problem with these sidebars too much. Actually, not at all. So I can stretch out my legs if need be. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm 5'7 and my feet do touch the ground as well. So that's another good thing. And then I do have a, a decent amount of seat pan depth, which is pretty important. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think, and as always guys, thanks for watching.